So we'll continue with the uh, Redux integration, which we did yesterday, uh, the last lecture. So let's run the test again. And let's run the application. Yeah, I think sometimes my NPM is not working. Let's use the yarn start. Okay. Let's refresh the page. So when I refresh the page, you will see that Redux is called action is called and in the action I get the five records from the server which are passed as a payload with the type of site detail folder which will go to the reducer and in the reducer I will see the followers as five followers okay and if there was an error it would have gone to followers error let's try to check if we get error so I will put some bad URL and I want to see whether it's going to error or not. So if I refresh now, you will see I am get going to the error part and in the my reducer you will see followers error is showing network error and fellow followers is empty array. <coughs> so, <coughs> so both are sorry. So both are working fine. The, if I am putting bad URL, it's going to the error part. If I am putting the good URL, it's going to the this part. Okay. So this one is working fine. Then it goes to the it goes to the reducer. Sorry, here is the reducer here. And it updates the followers, that is the followers and the followers error. Or if it is error, it updates the followers and the followers error. So this is the about the followers. Now we have to retrieve these followers in the follower list page and display it. So right now, right now I'm putting it as hard coded, but we have to get this information from the reducer and display it here in my uh, component. So let's do that now. And let me like open. Mm. So where is that? Okay. okay. Give me one second. I'll I'll update this information. I'm just uh, referring my application. Okay, so now I'll go to the follower list. I already called the use dispatch for this uh, for dispatching in the use effect that is on the page load. But to retrieve it, we need two more uh, two more functionalities. One is the two more modules. One is the use selector, and another one is shallow equal. Okay, we need this one. Two things. Now I will create one get state as a uh, get state as a function. Where I, I will get the state and I'll return what I'll return from the followers page. I will return followers and followers will be in the state dot site details reducer dot followers. 
and I also want follows error. Okay, so these two variables are called from the reducer using the function get state. And whenever I'll call the get state in the, my component, it will pass the state here and it will give me two information from the followers. Now, how to call the get state? That is uh, something which we write down now. I will say constant. Since I'm passing two things, followers and followers error, so let's put followers and followers error here. And here I will call use selector and I will call this function get state. And then I will pass the shallow equal. The shallow equal is used to so that we should memoize this variables. Memoized means whenever the variable changes, then only we will call it because of the shallow equal. If I don't put shallow equal, then it will appear multiple times, which I don't want. I'll delete this followers errors, and also I'll delete the error part. And wherever error is there, I will use the followers error. Let me check the spelling. It's followers error here. Yeah. If error is there, I put the followers error. And wherever the followers is there, it's already coming as a followers. So I tied this followers from the Redux because of these three lines, get state, these two lines, and dispatching here. These are the changes I have done. So if I refresh now, we'll see followers is updated. And whatever followers is updated, these are the followers. We are showing it here on the page. Okay, so right now what we did, we converted the normal component into the Redux component and we are getting data from the Redux. I will give you this file, you try it on. Uh, you try it on the, on your application and I will give you two minutes to do that. I will paste this in the React Telegram group. If you want, you can get it there.
Okay, so let's go further now. So let's let's finish the React part, the Redux integration today, and tomorrow we'll write down the unit test case for all the pages. Now let's go to the to do part. So this to do and count will come from the Redux, and when we try to add it, it will go into the Redux. So let's try to add it first. And I told you yesterday that in the last class that I will be changing this one because this one is too direct and practically it's not uh, good. So let's do that one. So first we'll integrate the addition input part. So when someone will try to add, when someone is trying to add, we will keep this to do part as a state variable, but when someone will try to submit it, we have to submit it in the Redux rather than here. Okay. So let's create this object here. So this object will be fine that we have this list list, but rather than putting the set to do, we will call the Redux or action function to do that. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll, instead of set to do, we will call some action function. And I created this update to do function. So maybe I will add a new function, which will take only one parameter, one to do part. Or I'll say to do object. And maybe I'll say add to do, add to do's. I take only one object. This object will be nothing but this or even even I can I will take only to do rest object I will create there okay so let's uh, you know I am doing some changes because you know it's not already done I'm trying to do it now here in front of you so let's build this object in the action only rather than building it there so let's put the to do only and here I will create this object and v4 I will call it here in this one in action page. Okay, one I'll be back in one. Okay, I'm back here. So what we'll do, I'm creating the object here only rather than creating in the to-do input page. In the to-do input page, I'll direct send this to-do part to the server. So I will, I will create object here. 
task completed equal to false and then I will pass this object here as a payload and here in the site to do site details to do so I will just say site details add to do okay so that's what I am trying to do it so okay now since I added this action Let's add this action in the reducer also. And I will copy this function, for example, here. Okay. So before I write down this part kind of thing, let's try to integrate first this function to my to-do input. Okay, so I'll call, let me copy this thing into the to-do input. I don't need selector for now here and in the update followers I will call add to do okay and then same thing I will create the dispatch part in the here I'll create the dispatch part okay so when someone tries to add it I will I will dispatch what I'll dispatch I'll dispatch this function and in this function what I'll pass, I'll pass this to do part. And I don't need this part object. I don't need this calculate part, we will do it in the reducer. And I don't need this one. And once it is sent to dispatch, I will make set to do equal to empty. Okay, I don't need these two things. Okay, let's try to see if that part is added into the reducer so before that I need to fix I need to fix this part side details add to do what I did here in the input one in the input in the to do input I I took this to do and pass to the dispatch function and in the dispatch function I created the object and I send that object to the reducer and in the reducer we need to add that object in the to do part okay so what how we will do first I will take the current to do's so I will say constant current to do's is equal to state maybe I'll say uh, state dot to do's okay or I can I can say I can do the I can do like this also. So I will take the current one, current to do, and I will add the new object which I have sent it, this object. Okay. So instead of current state to do, I will say, uh, I will name it as updated to do's. So I will take the current to do's whatever it is there here and I will get the action dot payload which is coming from the user so user is sending this object as a payload and I'm taking that payload and putting after the to do so whatever to do is there I will add one more to do here okay so this is the current array I add one of okay. them okay So that's what uh, I make the updated to do. Now to calculate the number of incompleted tasks, I will pass this updated to do's. And that will give me the count. And this updated to do will be uh, uh, sent here as a to do. So whatever the new updated to will be, will be updated in the to do's. And this count will be updated with this count. Okay, so what I did, I took the current to do put the new object I took the count from the same function and then I return the uh, return the updated to do's and count okay so let's see if the input which I am adding it in the to do is going properly to the redux so that's what I will do now so now I will it will not come here in the to-do listing because right now I'm sending to Redux 
and to appear it here in this part we need to call it from the Redux rather than the local call. So let's say if I put test, you will see I'm calling settings to do and in the payload I create this object which is passed to the reducer and in the reducer to do is updated with a new object. So here it is getting updated. Let's add another one. So now to do this having two elements. First one whatever I put and this is the second and now third. Let's see again. And count is also three. To do is a three. So we are able to add it successfully. Now we want to display it on this page. So before display you try to put the add part and see if it is working. So I will give you all the files related to add on the to do input and try to integrate in your application. So this is to do input dot jsx and this is the action in the action I created this function. I will give you the important things only and in the reducer I call this part. Okay, so just I give you the important things in one minute try to integrate it and let me know if it is working. Okay, so what we did, we completed the add part where we sent only the one to do in my action file and in the action I created the object and passed to the dispatch and in the dispatch and in the reducer I just get the new object that is new to do object and I took the previous one I appended with this and then I calculated the count that is number of incomplete task and I return it with the proper I updated the state value with the proper uh, object and count okay now I will display the to do's on the to do listing page so let's go to the to do listing page 
since here I want to display the things, I will I will copy I will copy only selector and shallow equal because patch is used to call the action. But if you want only display, we don't need the you dis, use this patch. And then I'll create one get state part. And in the get state part, I will only call the to dos and count. So let's call only to dos because we don't need count here on this page. So let's only call the to dos. Okay, and then like here I did, like here I call this uh, use selector. I will do it same thing here. Okay, but instead of followers, I will call the to dos. Now to dos is nothing but the same thing. Whatever to do you see here, and it will display everything here. We don't need this to do, which is coming from the previous component, and we are getting this to do from the Redux rather than previous component. So let's see now if it is working or what is the thing going on. So I'll add one text one. See, it is coming here. Now it is coming directly from the reducer rather than the local variable. Okay, so we are here. But when I try to update it, right now I have not integrated the update part, so it will not do anything. So we need to update this part also and see how it goes. So when I try to update it, I will update with the index, and that index is there in the in the to-do listing also. So what I will do, I will just I will just pass the index number rather than passing everything to the update function. So in my action, if I'm doing update to do, I will only pass the index. We are not updating the text. We are only updating whether it's a done or not done. Okay, so we need only the index part. And here I will change it to instead of to do to uh, to do I will say update to do and I will pass only the index I don't need to pass I don't need to pass the uh, whole object because that object is already there in the reducer I can take it grab it from here so in the update to do I will pass only index which will go here as the update to do index let's rename this to update to do and this I will call in the to do in to do listing page. Okay, in the listing page when someone will try to update, we will pass we'll pass this function. Okay, so let's call this function in the listing page. Since we need to call the function from the action page, so we need the dispatch also now. So let's copy the dispatch, and we also need. Dispatch equal to you will dispatch. Okay. And when now someone will try to, okay, we also need this action. And which action we need now? Update to do. Now when someone try to update it, we will just call this update to do from the action page. Rather than this, I will call the directly dispatch of update to do and I will pass the index. So we don't need this function to be called, okay? So this function will be deleted, but I will take, I will take this information, which I will paste it in the, my reducer. Okay, so what will happen here in the to-do listing? Gate is called from this reducer, and when someone try to click it, I'm calling the update to do as a dispatch, as action function with the index. Now that will go here as the index will go here in the update to do and in the reducer it will go as a payload. So in the reducer, so in the reducer first I will take the current to do's. So how, what is the current to do? Current to do is the state to do's. I will take the current, current to do which is here in the state to do. I will put it in the variable and I will then update this updated one. So what is the index? Index is nothing but action dot payload. And I will check if it is completed or not. If it is 
if it is previously completed then I will mark it as an uncompleted and if it is uncompleted then I will mark it as completed I don't need this set to do function and I will pass this updated to do in the completed number of tasks so this updated to do will be passed here because when I click it some of the uh, some of the object may be completed or some may be uncompleted so we need to call this function again that will calculate what are the number of tasks which are not completed and then I will update to do's with the updated to do's this is updated to do and count is updated with this one so what we are doing we are taking the current to do we are checking if it is completed then make it uncompleted and if it is uncompleted we are making it completed and then we are taking this final object final array in the calculate number of incompleted tasks we are getting the count we are updating the count and to do in both of these. so this is the update part which we are doing it so let's see how it goes now so if I click it test one test two test three now when now observe when I click any of them what happens so if I click this one so you will see update to do is called and here I am passing one number because 0, 1, 2 I am passing index of 1 and for the 1 you will see completed is true for others completed is false so we are we are doing the same thing what we were doing previously but now we are doing with the Redux so everything is perfect now count is not working fine because we have not integrated count from the Redux so currently it is taking the local variable but now we will update the count also in a minute before that doing the count I will just uh, delete this props which I am calling from the previous component okay, once. Okay, so let's uh, let's delete this props. Let's delete the props in the input also. We deleted here already. Uh, let's delete the props because here, when I call the to do input, I don't need these two. I don't need these three in the to do listing. Okay, so I deleted it. I don't need this function here. I don't need this one. Count will also come from the Redux. So let's get the count from the Redux and then we will delete this part also. So to get the count from the Redux, I will call this function, uh, this line of the statement. And I know did no need of dispatch because we are just trying to get the information. And we'll call the get state. And here I will only want count here on this page and count is nothing but discount. count okay and then I will call this line of the statement in this page and I will get the count so instead of followers and follower error I will get the count I don't need this count now now count is coming from the redux which is passed here in this to do footer since the count is only needed in this footer why don't we put this count part in the footer rather than putting in this page so let's uh, copy this and put it in the footer rather than putting there so where is the footer so let's put directly in the footer okay and I need this count here and I'll display this count here I don't need this number of tasks now I'm getting count directly from the Redux. Okay, I don't need this part now, and I don't need this one. So this to-do page has only three input called, and all the logic is written in the reducer and action. 
action so we don't need it here anywhere so let's check it again if, okay so now if I do one see one task is now updated here because we moved it to reduce our two tasks okay now if I do done 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 so it is coming from the redux so now all the function is calling from the redux and I'll give you all the files again so let me what I'll do I'll commit it now rather than giving in the telegram group and then you can get it from there okay so that's all for today any questions we'll do the testing of this tomorrow uh, we have completed the redux integration on the component now everything is called from the Redux, so tomorrow we'll write the unit test case for the changes which we have done from the normal component to the Redux integration. Any questions?